Hello friends, in this video we will see two ways of writing data into files. The first one is sequential write. In sequential writes we write data in sequential manner okay or you can say a continuous manner. So when we start writing data into a new file first the file pointer points to the beginning of the file and as soon as we write the data the file pointer automatically moves forward okay and the next writing of data is start from the file pointer. So in this way the data is written in a sequential or you can say linear manner. The second way is random write. In random write we first go to a particular location and start writing the data from that location. So as you just understand that in sequential write you know the position from where you are going to start writing. However in random write you first go to that position and then you start writing. So random write is definitely slower than sequential write. So let's see a real demo of it. Let's create two files, one file for sequential write and one file for random write. Okay, so let's create string. Uh, let's call it sequential sequential access file name and let it be the same dot txt okay and the second one is the random access file name and name is random access file name dot txt and now let's uh, need two variable one for the start time one for the end time to or uh, to check like how much time each process is taking so let's long start time and time okay so now let's see how much time it is taking for sequential write to write some data in this sequential file okay so let's call it start is equals to let's take it as system dot current time milli so this basically the epoch from this is basically epoch time okay the current epoch time and let's have let's create a method to write some data into the uh, sequential file okay so to to make the comparison we'll write the same data into the sequential file and the random file so that we can do some apple to apple comparison okay how much time each process is taking okay and we will write around let's say 1 million uh, data into each file okay so let's create a, a method called ingest data in sequential file okay and let's let's create two files okay so file is sequential file new file sequential file name and then file a random file okay so now let's pass this sequential file into this method so okay let's implement this method so this method will simply like ingest around 1 million data so let's create a for loop okay and let's have run it for 1 million times okay and to write data sequentially there is a class called file writer that specifically for writing data in sequential manner okay so file writer new file writer and give it the file name okay there will be some exception thrown by this so let's have this io exception and let's write what should we write so let's write like my name is pushkar colon and let's say i okay and also slash n okay so the file writer internally creates some kind of buffer okay so once the buffer is full it then flushes the data into the file okay in sequential manner so let's say at the end there might be some data pending so let's include uh, file writer dot plus so that all the remaining data gets 
written into the file okay so now let's have the end time equals to system dot current time millis and print how much time it is taking so total time taken by sequential write is end time minus start time milliseconds okay so this much uh, time is taken by the sequential right so let's see how much time it is taking okay so it is taking like 212 milliseconds so now let's open this sequential file so this is the file you can see okay so this like a very big file like 27.89 mb okay and now let's create now let's see the same thing in the random file okay so now let's create let's first initialize the start time as again system dot current time list and that's now let's ingest the same data into the the uh, uh, into the random file in random way okay so ingest data in a random file and give it in a file okay so now let's implement this before that let's complete this so end time is equals to system dot current time milis and copy the same total time taken by random right okay so now let's implement this so to write data in a file randomly they you need to access the file you need to have permission or you need to know the way of writing like randomly okay so basically you need some kind of api provided by uh, the the programming language okay or maybe your operating system okay that let you to go to a particular location in a file and write data into it so so in java there is a special class called random file random access file okay so you can say random access file and this gives you the ability to go to any location okay in a file and write data from it okay so now let's create the instance of this so it will take this random file okay and in random file you need to provide in which mode you want to open this random file so there could be multiple modes one mode is read read mode then read write mode and also a sync mode so this random access also does you can say some kind of buffering so in read write mode it it takes the data and the position into the memory and later at some point it flushes the data into the uh, file if you want uh, this uh, like the in memory buffer and file in sync you can open this file in sync mode also we'll check both okay but first write first but first let's open this in read and write mode okay when running later we'll in also include in sync mode okay so where um, the data is written immediately into the file so let's at the exception so now let's write the same data into the the data file random file but in random manner so in i is equals to 0 i less than 1 million plus plus okay so this so now first you need to go to position okay where you want to write the data okay so let's call int position is equals to zero so this represents the byte okay where i want to write the data so first i want to write the data at this position okay so now random file dot seek okay the seek will take the position and it will takes the file pointed to that particular location so first we want to write the data from the position okay that is zero
ओके एंड देन राइट तो रेंडम डॉट राइट एंड व्हाट वी वांट टू राइट सो लेट्स से स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर इज लेट्स राइट द सेम थिंग ओके सो so basically it's showing some syntax error okay so this write method takes only the byte so we are writing some bytes so let's include the write bytes okay so it will write the entire string into this position now for the next time the position changes okay if we keep position 0 then it will write the same data at position 0 okay so the, at the end of this processing there will be only one row okay but in the next run let's say we want position so we want position basically at the end of the previous line okay so we'll make we'll update position to position plus this string dot length okay so that it is start from the end of the previous write operation okay so the output of this random file the data in random file and sequential file is almost same not almost same basically exactly the same okay because we want to do some apple to apple comparison okay but the difference is here the file knows the last file pointer okay in a file writer but here in random access it doesn't so every time it is going to that position okay so that's why it, it will take longer time and let's okay i think this is enough so now let's run this and let's see how much time it is taking so as you can see in sequential write it is taking like 189 milliseconds and in random writes it is taking 200 uh, not 200 basically 2276 milliseconds so almost 10 times okay so sequential write is almost 10 times faster than the random writes okay so now let's run this again so before running that let's re, uh, delete this uh, file okay so if sequential file dot is file sequential file dot delete if random file dot is file so basically it will now create uh, the files uh, like brand new uh, when running this program so now let's run this again and see whether our assumption holds correct or not that sequential write is 10 times faster than the random writes so this time the sequential write has taken 215 milliseconds and same the random time has taken like 2239 milliseconds so more or less this sequential write is coming out to be 10 times faster than the random writes and now let's also see this uh, let's the uh, basically the sync version of this random access so sync means when the random access file is writing the data okay it also have some in memory buffer so if we open it in a sync mode then it will immediately flushes the data into the disk okay so basically uh, there will be so basically there will some extra time it needs to flush data okay let's see like how much the change in time okay so now let's so this uh, let's add this s so this add me s means open this random file in a sync mode okay so the data file and the random access in memory buffer are in sync okay so the data is now immediately get into the data file okay so now let's run this it will take a lot more time okay so as you can see the sequential file has taken 211 milliseconds and the sequential file is here okay okay so it's still running basically it will take a lot of time okay i believe it will take nearly 30 to 40 second yeah 
so now you can see the time it has taken is 27536 milliseconds so almost you can say 100 times more uh, than the sequential write the motive of this video was to show you that sequential write is a lot faster than random writes and that is the reason we use sequential write in logging purpose especially in case of database system where we have logs write uh, logs like write ahead logs redo logs undo logs or transitional logs so writing into these logs need to be faster so that database system can maintain atomicity and durability we will discuss all about this in more details in my upcoming videos till then subscribe my channel and take care bye